Swimoutlet.com delivers the best online shopping experience. With an extensive selection and the lowest prices, you're guaranteed to find the product you need. Here's what you get. Free shipping on all orders over $49. Free one to two day shipping on all orders over $99. All orders placed by 6 p.m. ship out the same day. Shop at Swimoutlet.com, the web's most popular swim shop. This is the Morning Swim Show for Wednesday, May 30th, 2012. I'm your host, Jeff Cummings. Joining us in the Finise Monitor will be Summer Sanders. The Olympic champion is getting behind a new cause, working with USA Swimming to get more people in the pool. And Summer joins us right now from New York City. Summer, welcome to the show. How are you doing? I'm doing great. It is so good to see you, my friend. You, we don't have enough of these swimming reunions. You know what I mean? I know. And, you know, I, I see people on, you know, when I go on my travels and, you know, everybody says it's been too long and, you know, we need to have more of these. And you look great in your, your new kind of suit that you have. I know it's not a Speedo. It's, but, not, a, um, it's not a Speedo, which is why it's a little uncomfortable. <laughs> 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 Isn't that so funny? It's the reverse of so many people. It is. It is. And 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 for you, I mean, you're you're out in the town in New York uh, promoting this new Swim Today campaign. Tell us all about it. Well, I think what what a lot of people feel every four years is um, they fall in love with the Olympic Games all over again. And I'm sort of at that stage with my kids. My kids are four and six where two years ago we were in Vancouver and my son was sitting there screaming outside the window going, go USA, go USA. And then he turned to me and said, mommy, what's a USA? <laughs> so I think that this Olympics, that they'll actually get it and understand what USA is all about and what the red, white, and blue flag means um, and what swimming for America or, or competing for America is all about. And I know my kids are not alone. There will be a lot of kids who will fall in love with the Olympics and with that swimming. And we hope that with this new program called Swim Today, which is swimtoday.org, we can help parents ease their kids into a program that they could potentially fall in love with. We know that, that a lot of hopes and dreams will be sparked by watching Missy Franklin, Ryan Lochte, and that guy named Michael Phelps once again. Um, and I get it all the time from my friends saying, where do I get my kids involved in swimming? How do I do it? Well, swimtoday.org is now where they do it. It literally will help them understand the sport, where they can find great lessons, how to join a team, when to join a team, where to join a team. And then when they get better, they can cruise on to Speedo and join the Pace Club at any age. You can be a part of the Pace Club and start logging your workouts and see how you compare to everyone else, including the Olympians. Yeah, that is a big question a lot of people have, you know, when they're watching the Olympics. They say, you know, their kids say, I want to get into swimming. And, you know, unless you live in somewhere like California or, you know, Florida where there is a pool on every corner, it's not right. easy finding that. And, and uh, yeah, just having perused the, the SwimToday.org website, it's probably the most comprehensive I've ever seen in terms of trying to give parents and give kids that opportunity to go out and, and find that pool and, and get in the water. Well, Jeff, you and I grew up with swimming, and I always say to my girlfriends who are getting their kids involved in soccer and gymnastics and all this kind of stuff, those sports, they're wonderful sports. They are wonderful, and it's such a privilege to be able to compete in those sports and to be a part of those programs, but swimming is a life skill. Swimming is something that everyone should learn. It's, it's you know, the same as the, the safety rules in riding a bike. It keeps them alive. It's a life skill that they should learn at a young age because it just does, it gets a little more difficult if they wait later on in life. And I know that deep down every single parent wants that to happen, but they also just need the tools to make it happen. And, and Jeff, I'm in this situation right now where you said a lot of parents don't know the first thing about swimming because they didn't grow up with it. Well, my kids, even though now they know how to swim and they've been on swim team because I know how to deal with that, my daughter loves gymnastics and my son is in hockey. And I literally am like, I have no clue about either of those sports. So I am that parent who's trying to learn their way through other sports. That's why I think swimtoday.org is so perfect for today's parent. Yeah, maybe they'll have um, a hockey today or gymnastics today <laughs> for people like you. <laughs> I mean, seriously, Jeff, my, my daughter will be doing these, these, uh, this routine, and I'll try to tell people, like the grandparents, what's going on. And I'll say, yeah, she did like this 
this kick through and she'll go mom it's called a shoot through and I'm like ah! <laughs> it's like it's so funny that I have no idea yeah well you always it, do things every day well I mean it at least you know all about swimming and they they, they were able to ease right into that this is true. This is true. It's so fun too. It's fun for parents to hear from um, from people who have lived the sport, and now I'm I'm experiencing experiencing it from the other side. And last summer was the first summer that my kids were on, you know, swim team. And I actually learned that from Billie Jean King, who said to me, "Why in the world would you call anything a lesson <laughs> or practice? Because that just." It brings up memories of like oh, school or or something that they don't like. But team is a great word. So instead of calling it swim lessons last summer, I would call it swim team. And uh, so they did. They got to compete on the team, and they both had their first race. And Jeff, I don't know how my parents did it because that first race, when I was watching them, and there was like this like crazy cocktail of nervousness and excitement and anxiety and um, absolute fear in their eyes for their fir first race and and it was literally one of those moments where I thought it's either sink or swim really yeah. like they have to go for it and and they did and their eyes the whole way down that pool they were so focused and so determined and I was cheering my head off for them and they touched the wall and they they touched that wall and their face lit up I mean if their whole face could be a smile it would and they hopped out of that pool and got their little ribbon um, and just walked around the pool with such confidence and sense of purpose and teach them about dedication and determination and discipline and teamwork and dealing with failure and dealing with success but most importantly, to have fun. Yeah, I, I would imagine you called up your parents and say, I get it now. Yeah, I did. And I took a video of it and sent it to them. My son holding his little ribbon going, look, Mom, I won. And it's, you know, it's a yellow ribbon. I didn't have the heart to tell him, oh, sweetie, you were a solid three minutes behind the winner. <laughs> it doesn't matter to these kids. I mean, it's just getting the ribbon. <laughs> Exactly. It was a 25 free and it was magical. It was awesome. Well, I'm, I'm sure this uh, swim today will really get more of those kids um, that opportunity to do that. I mean, it's kind of amazing that even in this day and age that before this, there was no real comprehensive place to find um, a place to swim. I mean, like you said, I mean, you grew up in Northern California, no shortage of pools. You know, I right. grew up in, in a time where, you know, the boys club were really popular. We can always go to a pool. But, yeah, that there are some places where, you know, people are scratching their heads like, you know, where, where in the world do we go? Yeah, and it's funny. I mean, it, you're right. There are the places that you always think of, like the Y or the Boys and Girls Club. And then a lot of it's word of mouth. I mean, the power of a mother's mouth and, and a mom saying, hey, I like this swim instructor. And that's really the way it was where I lived in Park City. I had tons. Tons of people calling me and emailing me say, saying, where do I get my kid involved in swimming, swim lessons, swim safety. And I, it's, again, it goes back to that point of where it really is different than swim team. You want to get your kid pool safe. You, there's so much fun to be had around a body of water. You just really have to start young and get your kid pool safe. And then from there, it's just, you know, a world of opportunity opens up when they get to dive in that pool and race to the end for a ribbon. Um, so there's definite levels. And I'm sure, Jeff, that's what you've loved about school is that it was never, you know, I didn't start out as a four-year-old thinking I was going to go to the Olympic Games. In fact, I don't even think that wasn't my dream when I was four. I got out there and did it because I loved it and I wanted to better my time and because my teammates were cheering for me because it was a, you know, a fabulous environment of being outside and and exercising and, and I was I was more tired at the end of a swim day than any other day in my life. So um, the dreams start later and, and the levels that you can get to in the sport of swimming is wonderful the way it helps kids understand the power of setting a goal and how you work hard and achieve that and then you can set a new goal and work hard and achieve that and even the likes of a Michael Phelps you know, started out like this and worked his way up. Absolutely. This is going to be a really, I'm really interested to see how this takes off. I'm sure it'll be a blast. Yes, it will. And it's probably been a blast for you going around the country talking about it. 
Yeah, we have, we're just starting right now, so it's great. Any chance I get to talk about swimming, I jump on it. Because where I live in Park City, Utah, we talk quite a bit about skiing. And, um, and my husband is a three-time Olympic skier, who, by the way, has a pretty awesome butterfly. <laughs> he does. He likes to say, he, he warns everyone in the pool if he starts to do butterfly, because he's like, get ready for the water to drop about half. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> all the water heads out of the pool, but he swims that butterfly with force, Jeff. So I've turned him into a swimmer. But yeah, every, any chance I get to reconnect with the swimming community, I just love it. it swimming is just was is and was such a huge part of my life. I'm so grateful that I found it at such a young age, and I can only just say to the parents out there. Um, and if they're watching this, they're probably they're, they already have a love of swimming. But what's so great is to see your child light up, and to always remember um, what what your kid can learn from every single race, um, and all the fun and the passion. Trying to keep that alive as a parent um, is is just so important. Yeah, well, you're talking about reconnecting with the swim community uh, at Olympic trials in a month. They're going to have a uh, reunion of the 1992 Olympians. Are you going to be there? I had no idea. <laughs> well, I'm telling you now, <laughs> Summer Sanders, they're going to they're going to trot out all the 1992 Olympians, and they do this every year. So you definitely have to be there. I am going to be there. I'm going to be there with USA Swimming already. I'm going to do the uh, interviews after people make the team. I'm the one that's going to get to say, "Ah, are you so excited? The relief, the piano, the whatever you know, the weight off your shoulders. You've made the Olympic team. How wonderful!" So I get to talk to them about that. Um, and then I'm also going to work for Yahoo while I'm there. So I love the fact that I will have my 20th anniversary. Ah, I can't believe that. <laughs> well, yeah, it's been 20 years. Uh, and I'm sure the memories of Barcelona are extremely vivid. But what, what race, what experience stands out the most for you from that Olympics? Um, I would say it's an experience, actually. Two of them, I mean... Several of them. I mean, life has evolved. Uh, you know, worlds have changed. And um, I think now when I look back on some of the visual memories uh, that I still have on tape today, and one of them is when um, I got the silver medal in the 200 IM, which, by the way, was my favorite race. I felt like I was toughest in the 200 IM. And I loved that because, you know, I was never really like a mean or tougher and and that's what I loved about that race and I, I got silver and then I was just drained emotionally and I went back to the to the warm down pool and I didn't know that there was a camera on me you know this was before cameras are on everybody you know it was back in the good old days and so I had a moment with my coach Richard quick and he gave me a hug and I just broke down and started crying and Richard as I'm sure most people in the swimming community know we lost Richard uh, just about two years ago um, and so now that memory means, and that visual memory means so much more to me, that moment, knowing I had such an amazing coach. I, I was very lucky with all my coaches growing up. But, but really the coolest moment of the games was when I finally, we, we were bussed in from France. We had a training camp in France. Our trials were in March. Um, so it wasn't until we were bussed in from France into Barcelona and I saw the sign, it was literally up on the right-hand side, that said, Welcome Olympians to the Olympic Village with the, the rings. And I sat there by myself in my seat and I started crying because it was the first time I truly felt like an Olympian. It was great. You dream about that moment. And right there I was like, wow, there's a part of me that could care less whether I, I win an Olympic medal. This is what it's all about. And I was really proud at that moment to be representing the USA. I, that, was, that was one of my little moments. Well, it's a great moment, and, and I think it inspired you. I mean, gold, silver, and bronze. I mean, you got the whole set. I got, yeah, who wants all gold? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, mean, <come> on. <laughs> I did, did. I started out with the bronze, and then I worked my way up the very last race uh, for my individual gold. Um, I don't know if I, I would do it that way if I had a choice, um, but it definitely made that last race so sweet, uh, and, it, and it really brought everything together. I, you know, I, I feel really lucky that I had that opportunity at that moment. 
um, and then my whole family was there to be a part of it. Yeah, it was a great moment. I remember watching that. Everybody, I think everybody was just like, finally. <laughs> <laughs> you and me, believe me, when I touched that wall, the first feeling I had, I turned around, I saw that I'd gotten first. Somehow I scream. I had no energy left whatsoever. But I shoot myself in the air and I scream. And the first feeling I had was of relief. You know, it's, it's interesting that that's what, there's so much pressure that we put on ourselves as athletes. But um, there's just a lot of pressure. And I remember feeling like, phew. Oh, this, and then I was like, this is great. And I wanted to jump straight out of the water. And the official at the end of my lane was like, no, no, you need to go to the side. So <laughs> I tried to pull myself out and immediately was told to go to the side. Well, uh, great memory summer. I'm, I'm, now that I'm glad I told you there's a reunion, you'll be able to uh, be ready be now. We'll be, uh, everybody will be out there to cheer you on with the other 92 Olympian summer. Great to catch up with you again. Again, we won't, we won't, I'll be at the trial, so we'll be able to catch up some more and, and uh, relive, our, relive our glory days, as it were. Are you going to be wearing your suit that you're wearing right now? No, I'll be a little bit more comfortable. Okay. All right. You got to warn me because I might need to, you know, come a little more dressed up for the occasion. Absolutely. No, I'll, <laughs> we'll be we'll be as comfortable as possible because it's going to be long days. Awesome. Well, Summer, thanks again, and can, and uh, just looking forward to uh, seeing how this Swim Today campaign goes, and best of luck with uh, promoting it around the country. Thank you. I appreciate it, Jeff. Have a good rest of your day. You too, Summer. Okay. Bye. All right, that's Summer Sanders joining us in the Phoenix Monitor. And that's going to do it for today's show. I'm Jeff Cummings, and we'll see you next time.